What up, curls? It's Lauren here with another episode of the Simply Curly channel. If you want to know how I achieved this look for Halloween, it is a get ready with me episode, my very first one with you guys. So stay tuned and don't forget to subscribe to the Simply Curly channel. Let's get into it. Alright y'all, so let's get right into it. I'm starting with my primer by Smashbox, the photo finish. Applying that to my face just to get that good makeup application going. I, this is a necessary step to make sure that your makeup is looking perfect at the end. And then I'm also applying my foundation by Fenty Beauty. And I'm going to apply with a beauty blender here, as you can see. And then I also, it's weird, I like to add my tinted moisturizer in certain spots uh, on top of that foundation. I don't know, it's just weird, but that's what I do. And then I'm going to add my concealer by Bare Minerals. And also that moisturizer was from the Sephora line too. And I will be putting all of the products that I use below. I am also not a subject matter expert on makeup. I just, no one works for me and I'm sure I do certain things incorrectly, but you know, I like the results, so this is me. Right now I'm just spraying my face spray to sort of set my products and then I'm going over with my tone of powder foundation also by Bare Minerals. I love Bare Minerals. Their products feel so amazing. And I'm going to put my translucent powder under my eyes because I'm going to start my eyeshadow and in case I have any fallout from the eyeshadow I want to make sure that it doesn't stay or ruin my foundation. And my uh, translucent powder is from Juvia's Place. It's pretty cool. But now I'm going towards doing my eyebrows. And also don't mind me. I The reason why I didn't really talk in real time during the video is because my hubby called me. And if you guys don't know, he is uh, deployed right now. So I wanted to make sure I made some time. So that's why I'm chatting in the background. <laughs> But I'm doing my eyebrows, making sure they're on fleek. I actually just got them waxed. My mom waxed them for me. And I'm using the Anastasia Brow Gel or, or Pomade. And I just apply with the brush. And I love their stuff. Uh, Anastasia has just such good products. So, so as y'all are watching me do my eyebrows, I just wanted to take time out to just talk about my Halloween costume. If you guys don't know already, I am the living legend, Toni Braxton. I just love her and her songs. Honestly, I felt like it'd be sort of an easy costume to do. Um, I got my jacket from Amazon. I got the pants from Goodwill and the belt from Amazon and the wig from Amazon. So I will be putting those links below in case you guys were curious. I also wasn't sure if I was going to fail or succeed at this costume, y'all. Um, I was just hoping that I did my makeup okay and like the wig looked okay on me. And I actually got a lot of compliments on this, on this costume that I killed it. So I wanted to make sure you guys knew how to... Uh, redo this look if you guys wanted to next year if you have any costume parties coming up um, and that's sort of the inspiration behind posting this and sharing this with you all obviously my eyebrows are taking forever my eyebrows are super asymmetrical so I always struggle with my eyebrows and I always have to fill them in so they look right I'm pretty much finishing that up now. And then next, I am covering my eyelids with my Bare Minerals Concealer. This just helps when I put the eyeshadow on top of it for it to pop a little bit more and have a more equal and similar color underneath. Just because your eyelashes can be like a little bit darker and mine are a little bit darker. 
also, as you guys are watching me apply this concealer to my lids, what did you guys dress up as for Halloween? Because you know all the parties are on the 26th. So did you guys dress up? Comment below. I want to know what y'all did for Halloween. And I am super focused here. I honestly, you guys, I do not spend that much time on my makeup, but I wanted this to be a cute look. I wanted to make sure I spent enough time making sure that this was an awesome look. So it's really not me to be so extra with my makeup and all the steps, but I was here for it this Halloween. So I'm using the Jackie Ina line eyeshadow palette from Anastasia Beverly Hills and I'm using and starting with the ginger base. So I always like to start with a little bit of a neutral but a little bit of a darker neutral color for my base and this just helps, at least for me, helps the transition of the other colors that I will use. Now in the picture that I'm trying to emulate from Toni Braxton it looks like she has little to no eyeshadow so I'm just trying to keep it a natural look I did add a little bit shimmer as you will see a little bit later um, but again I tried to make sure this was super natural also I mean the whole world knows about Jackie Ina but if you don't you need to go to her page so check that page out because she is hilarious and I just love watching her videos. I feel like I'm watching a TV show when I watch her stuff and her eyeshadow palette is popping. Okay, like the pigmentation is so awesome and it's awesome for our skin, our meaning black girl skin or men if you wear eyeshadow too. Um, but her eyeshadow palette is amazing. And in case you didn't know, her palette is $45. You can buy this palette at Sephora. A little pricey, but well worth it. I'm so glad I bought it. So the next eyeshadow that I'll be using is the Soleil. I really like this one and wanted to use it because it's pretty natural on my skin. It just gives a little bit of a shimmer. So I wanted to lay that over the ginger eyeshadow. So I'm just applying that. I'm also still using like the regular eyeshadow brush. I'm not tapping anything in yet into the color. I'm basically just blending them together. I will be sort of patting on the next color and you guys will see that shortly. So the next color I'm using is Zam. Honestly the best or my favorite eyeshadow of the palette to be completely honest because I love the darker golden brownish glitters in eyeshadows so I'm pretty much tapping that on pressing that into what's already there on my lid to give just a higher level of glow and I'm just finishing up here as you guys can see and I am done for, with my eyeshadow and next I'm going to be putting on my eyelashes Right now, before that, I'm blending out my translucent powder, just setting everything on my face. I'm actually pretty new to using translucent powder. Jackie Ina taught me that, so I'm grateful for her because I've definitely noticed a difference when using that. So now I'm applying my eyelash, so the funny thing is, well my right, your left, I was just struggling. I am not very good with eyelashes in general. So this was a struggle, but I was super committed for Halloween. <laughs> so I would not be the person to teach you guys how to do eyelashes. I'm actually still learning myself. One side is always easier than the other. So I ended up applying my side that was not right so the right side I had to redo it if you guys or any of my subscribers has any cool tr tricks or tips on how to apply eyelashes easy and flawlessly definitely comment below because 
I always fudge this up, but I always end up making it look acceptable where you can barely notice any imperfections. So I'm good at masking any problem areas. But yeah, if you guys have any tri tricks or tips, let me know. So next I'm applying Lash Craft by Sephora uh, for my mascara. But first I'm going to be fixing some imperfections I see on my eyelid. Um, just from redoing that eyelid with the eyelash, I saw there was like a hole in my eyeshadow which sort of sucked. But I fixed that up and now I'm going to be applying the mascara. And if you guys were curious about this mascara, I honestly would not recommend it. For some reason, it looks great on fake lashes, but when it's on my lashes, it doesn't extend them. It's just so weird. Like, I will never buy this mascara again. So I was actually pretty apprehensive to use it for these lashes, but it actually looked great on the lashes. So, you know, it's not a very volumizing mascara. Just a heads up. So now that I'm done using a blush, it's called Black Up, the brand. Honestly, I've got this blush ages ago and I don't even know where it's from. When I type up my description, I will try to find the link, but honestly, it's such a basic blush. My favorite br blushes are from Too Faced actually, and um, I'll probably buy another Too Faced blush soon. Next is highlight from Lorac. I love Lorac highlights. This is the Twilight one and it's just amazing. So I'm applying that for finishing touches here. I like to apply my highlight on my cheekbones and a little bit of my forehead, my nose, and my upper lip and my chin. <laughs> Basically everywhere. So that's what I'm doing right now. And now the final final step, lipstick. So I'm using this deep red lipstick from NARS. It has the first layer of lipstick here. Um, if you were being extra careful and professional, you would have used the lip liner. But I actually don't have any lip liners. I probably should have some, but I just don't. <laughs> but I don't usually have problems applying. Um, it just looks a little bit more put together when you do have lip liner. But next, I'm using this color me, I believe it's called, by CoverGirl. It's like a lipstick stain. And in the picture, Tony is like has a deeper red, so I figured to mix the two together to get sort of that like deeper red color. Because without it, the NARS lipstick is a little bit more purple, so I wanted to make it a little bit more red there. And now I'm adding my wig and you guys I do not usually wear wigs at all like actually this is like the first real wig that's actually not a costume wig that I've ever worn and it ended up being really cute under my wig cap I just have my hair twisted underneath and I twisted them in a way so they would lay flat so it wouldn't be noticeable when I am wearing the wig and Tony's hair in the album cover is sort of short like this. Um, I could have cut it up to make a super straight bang because that's how it is in the picture but I didn't want to do all that. I think it, I thought it matched enough where I didn't need to cut the wig. And I'll put this uh, wig link below also. I got it from Amazon. It's actually human hair. And you guys, I was feeling myself all night in this wig. I love this wig, and I think I'm actually gonna start wearing it um, more, more often than just for Halloween. But that is really all I have for you all. This is how it turned out. I'm thinking I'm giving you Tony vibes here. And this is the outfit. You can go to, on my IG to see the full body outfit, but thanks for watching, curls. Until next time, peace and love.